forget Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat, it's time to be joined by Anna and her Technicolor colour wheel. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Anna. I like Joseph, actually. <laughs> Good to you know all the colours, because Matt the cameraman does, which is not, I say, not I can, cool. I can do all the songs, I can, I can do a duet. <laughs> so last week we spin our colour wheel and we came up with walnut, which is slightly unusual. I know. So that's the colour we're going to be talking about today. Yes. So describe walnut to me in three words. It is warm, deep, classy. Oh, he sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> we already like walnut. Yeah. So and what kind of feeling does it evoke? Um, I would say it, it's quite a luxurious feel. When you think about walnut, it's um, it's not the cheapest of words, is it? Um, if you think about it inside of a nice classy car, they have a lovely walnut trim interior. There is a hotel called the Hoxton in Paris, which opened a couple of years ago, and it is the most beautiful interior, and they've used walnut in their accessories. It's not like hit me over the head walnut. There's desks, bedside tables, headboards, beds. It looks, it's just done just enough. It's beautiful. I would say it's quite an opulent feel, quite warm as well, because of the, the color, it's quite genuinely quite warming. And are there certain rooms in the house that it works best in? I would say it actually works really well in any room, but not maybe too much of it. You want it in accessories and furniture and bits and pieces. But I will say, Laura, I've said it before, I do like it in the bedroom. <laughs> You like everything, don't you just put all the trends in your bedroom? I do, I, I just think it's warming and so actually in the bedroom it does, it softens the room. But I also have it in my bathroom as well. And how about, are there any colours that you'd recommend using it with? So it works really well with blue, like a nice punchy navy. It works really well with orange, like a bright orange. It's That's quite a mid-century feel. And I don't know, is veneer still a dirty word or is that okay? I think so, definitely. I don't mind a bit of veneer. I guess as long as it means you can get the pieces that you want in your house on your budget, it's okay. Exactly. If you find something you like, then just go for it in whatever way you can get it. So on that note, if I've got about £40 to spend on walnut, what should I go for? So £40 not a massive amount, um, so you might have to go for that veneer. Maybe something like a picture ledge or a wall shelf, um, something like that, yeah. If I've got a little bit more, maybe £150, £200, mm -hmm. what walnut piece should I opt for? So again, you might not be able to get um, pure walnut, but you might be walnut trimmed, maybe like a desk or a sideboard. There's loads of sideboards around at the moment, loads of desks, um, the legs, you know, you might just, you might not be pure walnut, but something like that would look really good and classic, really. And because you mentioned earlier that it's timeless, if I really want to blow the budget, what should I be looking for? I would say get it on your floors, Laura. Um, big expanse, it's a classic, so you're not going to go off it. And I guess that's easy to update with rugs and you can just pick what goes with your budget. So either a laminate if you've not got much exactly. and then solid wood if you really want to splash out. Exactly, yeah. Well, I'm feeling nice and warm and fuzzy after that. So should we spin our wheel and see what we're going to be looking at next time? Please do the honours. Oh, oh, hello. Warm orange. Very nice for this time of year. Nice bit of sunshine. Bit of vitamin C. Yeah, lovely. So join us next time. We'll be giving you three ways to bring warm orange into your house, whatever your budget. <laughs>